I'm here with Francis Young, who is the managing director of Dynamic Residential, which is a pioneer in property marketing across Melbourne. Thanks for joining me, Francis. Thank you, Devin. So we are here to talk about uh, apartments and townhouses specifically, because Dynamic Residential is really good at what they do, and they uh, have a lot of experience in townhouse and the apartment market in Melbourne. So we have heard a lot of stories from the pundits during the pandemic saying that there'll be 30 to 40 percent property crash but what we are seeing right now is complete opposite uh what do you think is the main driver for the really hot property market francis um i think during the pandemic as you mentioned a lot of the predictions about the property market will be crashing media was really painting a fearful picture for the buyer um, the vendor are not getting the price they want. The buyer are not willing to buy. So this has this has created a lot of the pent up demands, and um, and because Australia has actually come up from this pandemic pretty good. We have very strong economy, and we have very low to no COVID cases. So the buyer now are coming out to buy, and they there aren't a lot of supply in the market. That's why you see this huge uh, price increase for the time being. Yeah, yeah, definitely. In terms of uh, the apartment market, uh, what do you think is going to happen? What are your predictions for 2021 and 2022, specifically specifically for apartments? Um, I think what we have seen in the last couple of weeks, auctions are pretty crazy. A lot of people are getting missed out in auctions. You know, reserve price has gone up to 100 grand, 200 grand, about uh, what the vendor was expecting. Um, I think when people are missing up in auctions, they will probably want to go to uh, look for alternative. Uh, the alternative being townhouses, apartment, uh, specifically off the plan. Yeah. And that's, we've seen that in the last cycle when people wanted to lock in a price in the rising market. And I think so towards end of this year, and we will be continuing on early next year, the prices for apartment market will be very strong. Right, okay. That's really good to know. And uh, in terms of the apartments, do you think uh, inner city would have a better demand than the CBD apartments right now? That's what we're seeing right now. Uh, CBD, you know, we've got the university there, we've got big office buildings there, and we have a lot of mobile population, people from overseas, people from interstate, what is whether they are students, business people, those people are currently restricted to enter into Australia. Therefore, the demand are pretty slowed. Um, inner city apartments, inner city suburbs, um, has been traditionally preferred by local Australian. Yes. Because it's close enough to the city, but it's fast enough to create that spatial and more localized living. Yeah. And from a developer's point of view, uh, I think, I personally think that adding more value into the apartment space would be the way to go to attract the buyers. What do you think uh, developers should be focusing on to attract the buyers in the current market? I think what you have just said is spot on. Creating value is the best way to go. And um, this value proposition are, is really sort of locations and project dependent. Um, if you can offer an apartment that is spacious enough, bigger apartment for the same price, yeah. obviously that is a value proposition. Yeah. Um, other projects, if you know, it can be close to shop, to transport, um, you know, to cafe, uh, that would be a good proposition as well. Um, I've also seen some development people now are designing some covert friendly, such as incorporating more study area into the layout to the design. Um, those are good points as well. Yeah, yeah, fabulous. Talking about apart uh, apartments and townhouses, we saw a townhouse project getting sold out during a weekend, which was crazy. But uh, what do you think, apart from what we all spoke about, Specifically for townhouses, what is driving this demand to the buyers? Townhouses are sort of an in-between product, I call it. You know, it's, they, they are uh, usually a little bit more spacious than apartments. 
but also they're easier to maintain than houses. So people who aren't ready to go into the apartments um, but cannot afford the houses are typically turned they into um, you know townhouses development. And townhouses are traditionally located in a better sort of um, location than houses. They typically represent closer to uh, public transport, uh, shops, and cafe. Yeah, yeah. No spot on. If you are to advise an investor, what would be your advice be right now? I think that that's very sort of uh, um, it's a pretty big question. Um, I myself are now looking at uh, investment property. I believe that the economy are pretty strong and long term wise, the property will continue to grow. So if you're ready, um, that means that you're finance ready, you have a very secure job and you know you can afford it, I think you probably should, should look into buying an investment right now. Yeah. First home buyers, what is your advice to first home buyers right now? Get into the market when you can't. <laughs> Anytime because you know, well, uh, and, and not only uh, first home buyer, for home owner occupi uh, occupiers, whenever you can afford it, you should really just uh, get into the market. Sure. Thank you so much, Francis. There, there you go. A quick glimpse of the current apartment and the townhouse market in Melbourne. Please feel free to ask any questions you might have. Francis or myself will be more than happy to answer your questions. Mm -hmm.